Hi, I'm Ed Helms. I'm Jana Schmeeding, and I'm super excited to share the trailer for my new show, Rutherford Falls. Plus, stick around after to learn a little more about the show. 400 years ago, my patriarchal ancestor, Lawrence Rutherford, founded our town. Anyone see the resemblance? I definitely see it. <laughs> it's in the jaw, in the shoulders, the chest, and probably some other places. <laughs> OK, thank you. I am the steward of my family's legacy. That will resonate throughout history. And you have a museum. You're going to get yours, too. This is a ginormous casino. But nobody wants to help my cultural center. The only native artifacts in here are those bags. <laughs> you seem smart. I'm guessing lots of college. Uh, not Ivy League, but so close it drives you crazy. Northwestern. Nathan, I'm calling to request a response to Mayor Chisenhall's decision to move Big Larry. I'm sorry, what? The problem is not Big Larry, it's the road. This is the fifth time someone's crashed into that statue. It's a public safety issue. It's history, Deirdre. You can't change history. Unless you have a time machine. And you don't, because if you did, you'd go back and tell yourself not to buy that laser. <laughs> what? I'm gonna get this town on my side. Yes. And I'm gonna transform my cultural center. <laughs> this town has forgotten how to honor their ancestors. Can we focus on the problems that are actually important? Well, Big Larry's important. More important than the opioid crisis. Apples and oranges, Carla. There's something happening in that town. This is a story about stories. Damn, the podcasting voice is very manipulative. <laughs> <laughs> much drama. Oh, but let's uh, leave them all more. OK, more. no, but I'm not done telling these people why they're wrong and stupid. <laughs> this is why it's not worth being friends with white people. No. Hi, I'm Ed Helms. I'm Jana Schmeeding. I'm Jesse Lee. I'm Michael Gray Eyes. I'm Dustin Milligan, and here's what you should know about Rutherford Falls. Rutherford Falls is a show about a man, Nathan Rutherford, who lives in a town that literally bears his last name because his forefathers founded the town 400 years ago. Anyone see the resemblance? He takes a lot of pride in the town and in his family and maybe has some blind spots about his uh, family lineage. Fun fact, I'm actually the last Rutherford to live here in Rutherford Falls. His best friend is a woman named Regan, who's played by Jenna Schmeeding, and she is a member of the fictional Minashanka native tribe. And the show is really about their friendship and about what happens in uh, their lives and in the town when there's a minor kerfuffle over a statue of Nathan's ancestor. <laughs> Rutherford Falls is uh, a creation of Mike Schur, Sierra Teller Ornelas, and myself. Mike Schur has done amazing stuff. I worked with him on The Office. Of course, then he went on to create Parks and Recreation, and then co-create Brooklyn Nine-Nine, then The Good Place, and just so much awesome television. And Sierra uh, has worked on Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Superstore, and this show really fits into that kind of the zone of, um, of an ensemble comedy. Ed Helms, also a co-creator of this show, is probably one of the funniest people I've ever met and uh, also just one of the nicest people in, in anywhere, really. When we started Rutherford Falls, we wanted to be smart and funny, and I'm really, I'm really proud of the show we've made. If you love any or all of these shows, I think you're going to feel right at home on Rutherford Falls. I think the comedy in this show is uh, is is warm-hearted and earnest. Sorry, I get very sweaty when I'm confident. But also pretty biting at times. You can't change history unless you got a time machine. And you don't, because if you did, you'd go back in time and tell yourself not to buy that blazer. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, Bobby, coming in a little hot there. <laughs> that was a sick burn, though. It feels very grounded. Uh, but in the same way that real life can get super silly and weird sometimes, so does the show. <coughs> oh. It's... it's dehydrated. The tone of the show, it's, it's very smart comedy in that it weaves in authentic and unique stories that people at home anywhere can identify with. I wish I could count the uh, jokes per minute. <laughs> they come fast, they hit hard. You seem smart. 
I'm guessing lots of college. Uh, not Ivy League. But so close it drives you crazy. Northwestern. Everybody gets jokes on the show. It's a great time. Go gamble away your 401ks. <laughs> it's also a comedy about real lives, uh, including real native lives. This show is one of the first of its kind. It has um, a writing staff that is half native, half non-native. I've worked in television for 10 years and I've never worked with another native writer until this show. We had five native voices in the writer's room and uh, that creates a world where native people who are very funny in our daily lives are now funny on screen. The only native artifacts in here are those bangs. <laughs> we had native writers from all over the country, um, so it's not any one kind of point of view. I think that the the sort of influence or the, the sort of mixing into the pot of, of the native point of view really makes this show special and different. This show features a really diverse cast, starring Michael Gray Eyes. This is all I can share. Jana Schmeeding. Well, I'm flattered. And of course, moi. In what world is vandalism funny? We see a diversity of native characters and a diversity of, of non-native characters. I remember one day, I was on the set and I was working with uh, uh, Jesse Lee. And I said to Jesse, our communities, communities of color, have never really been featured in uh, mainstream shows. And I actually noticed that all the main characters around Nathan were all actors of color. And it really struck me. I said, this show is really going in um, uncharted territories um, with how it's mixing its casts and how it's allowing diverse voices to really, really be heard. I'm proud of that. This show manages to somehow handle kind of heavy subject matter, but does so in a very lighthearted and heartwarming way. That statue is core to who I am. And if it can just be picked up and tossed around willy-nilly with no regard for its historical specificity, then literally who am I? What you're describing is my entire life which I think is, is a reflection of the world right now. We all want to laugh, we all want to love, we all want to live, love, laugh, but there's also, you know, there's some real stuff that we gotta deal with at the same time. And I think uh, what better way than to gather the family around the hearth, the hearth where the TV is and watch Rutherford Falls together so you can live, love, laugh about things that affect all of us in a really important and significant way. Did I say live, love, laugh enough? Live, love, laugh. Live, love, laugh. The most important thing to know? Check out Rutherford Falls, streaming now on Peacock. Okay, everyone, that concludes our tour. And now our museum associate director slash intern, Bobby Yang, will hand out some complimentary astronaut ice cream.